Aerial application of crop protection products often provides the only practical method available for protecting our food supply. Large and often remote areas can be quickly treated far faster than any other form of application, especially when pest infestations are destroying the crops. In fact, wet soil conditions, remote locations, rolling terrain, and dense plant foliage help drive the use of aerial application of pest treatment, plant nutrition application, and even cover crop seed spreading. Ongoing research continues to show that aerial application using manned aircraft or drones is conducive to higher crop yields since it is non-disruptive to the crop by treating above it and not within it. A study of applications on corn showed aerial application increased yields 8% over ground application. Plus, aerial application does not cause soil compaction, hence preventing soil runoff. Since aerial application can result in greater crop harvest yields, less land is being used for agricultural production. Preserving important wetlands and ecosystems important to carbon sequestration and wildlife habitat. Aerial application is conducted in all 50 states by licensed pilots treating an average of 130 million acres of cropland each year. Not only do pilots have to hold the traditional pilot's license, but also must be an ag operator under FAA oversight. Additionally, they must renew their license in crop protection from the pesticide regulatory agency in the state most commonly the Department of Agriculture. These rigorous standards ensure protection for the pilot, for agriculture, and for the security of our food system. Nearly 100% of forest protection applications are made by the agricultural aviation industry. In addition to agricultural aviation, the industry provides firefighting and public health application services to combat disease-carrying mosquitoes. Based on a 2019 National Agricultural Aviation Association survey, the five most treated crops among aerial application operators are corn, wheat and barley, soybeans, pastures and rangelands, and alfalfa. But aerial applications are used on nearly all crops. All chemical treatments, whether for organic or conventional crops, are highly regulated by the EPA, FDA, and USDA, in addition to each state's Department of Agriculture.